Hey, this is Simara, signing on with some more of Horizon Zero Dawn. Alright, so last time we headed into Gaia Prime, we got through it, we learned what really happened to Apollo and everyone else who was involved in Project Zero Dawn, and we learned about Silence and his connection to Hades and... Sorry, I just ate and drank and now oh, I'm burpy. <laughs> Um, and we learned about his connection to Hades and, um, the Eclipse cult, and things are coming to a head. But before we do that, we're gonna head, gonna do the DLC, er, before we do the final main mission, we're gonna do the DLC, but before we do that, we're gonna get the shield, uh, shield weaver armor, which I'm back in Ga Gaia Prime, because I missed a power cell here, and I think I apparently found two, where's my inventory? Uh, yeah, I ha apparently have two power cells, and I think they were from Maker's End, um, what was the other spot? Maker's End, and, um, I was just there, double checking. Anyways, so we're in Gaia Prime, you climb up to a spot, I don't know why I'm walk throughing this, climb up to a spot, and then it's just right on the shelf. I keep finding these power cells, how do they do? Well, we'll find two more, and I already know where to look. No, we gotta get out of here. Uh, there we go. No, gotta get over there. Alright, now we gotta get out of Gaia Prime. I forgot I can't fast travel here yet. Yeah, you just go into Gaia Prime until you get to the Rappel, or drop down, or I saw a video of a guy who was able to make the jump over there, but it's just right over here. So, with that, that is three power cells down. We need... There are apparently five. I thought there were only three, but I was just misreading the walkthrough I was looking at way early on in this Let's Play. So, we're gonna get the Shield Weaver armor, although I really want to keep um, the armor I got right now, this Shadow Stalwart, and I got the heavy version, because it looks so cool, but Shield Weaver, at the very least, we're gonna get it. <clears throat> Alright, so now we gotta get out of Gaia Prime. So that's just all I missed there. Just mainly a lot, mainly the power cells are just in like the most important spots. So when you go there, be thorough about looking around. Just trying to get through here quickly. Okay, we're out. So, yeah, there's one in Gaia Prime, there's one, where is it? There's one in Maker's End, that's when you gotta climb up to the top of that spire, what I did. Um, and it's over here, Grave Horde, um, and it's just, you, it's hard to miss, and I thought I did, just because I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Alright, okay, I'm trying to think. Ruins, I think that's the first one? And that's the one with the shield weaver armor. Okay, so... Okay. First, we're gonna head to All Mother. It's back in the mountain. You could've gotten this one early on and I missed it, so we're gonna run back. I'm trying to do this quick. I don't know why I, I'm bothering to walk or walk through it when, when I got the other power cells that are way out of here. Or, you know, way... <laughs> Whatever, I'm already doing it, so why not? I was gonna do it off camera, but I was just like, you know what, it's more fun, even though it's waste time, to do it on camera, but this shouldn't take long. Because once I figured out, I'm glad I decided to, you know, look around first before I took a guess at where I was missing the power cells. Because there's one in the mountain, and then there's another in the first set of runes that, in the ruins that Aloy fell into as a child. <clears throat> Sorry. And then the other one, is in the ruins where Aloy fell into as a child. So we'll be heading back there and it'll be pretty simple. And then there's another set of, there's another um, hidden ruins, which is at least marked on the map, that we haven't been to yet. Once we're in, we can get our armor. <coughs> so we'll do it in one shot. All right, so climbing back up to the top of the mountain, because I don't understand why you can't just, you know, fast travel to ruin areas. Feels like they could set up a spot that you can just 
you know, be right outside of it, and then as soon as you walk in, then you're at the point where you can't fast travel out, because it's opened up a new map area, you know? Nevertheless, just a quick, quick, quick trot up here. I wasn't even gonna record tonight, I was gonna chill out, and then I go like, I just wanna get going though, I wanna keep playing. I wanna keep playing, probably won't record too much, but I at least wanna get to the Frozen Wilds. Let's go. Okay, so now this is pretty simple, you could have gotten this early on, but all you gotta do, keep on running. Just, just right through here. Hard turn? Uh, ah. Through here. Just looking around. And there it is. A power cell. Like the ones I found before. I'm gonna have to figure this out. And you will. Don't know why this door won't open, but whatever, we got it. So yeah, just had to crawl in through there. And we got the power cell we needed. Okay, I think I could have opened it. Whatever. That's all we need from here. So now we'll hightail it out. Okay, I was hoping I ran enough where she'd have like a little bit of a catching her breath animation. It's not as intense, I guess there's a variety of them, where sometimes she's just like out of breath and she has to like slump over to breathe. I'll just fast travel since it's a little bit faster, technically. So yeah, we'll hit the ruins, because these should be the Aloy ones, right? And then, what's left is just to get the armor itself. Sorry, I might also sound a little nasally. Yeah, not too far from the village itself. This old place. I haven't been here in years. Alright, I now know it's the right one, because I'm worried that somehow I was wrong. Ah, bats! Bats, bats, bats! Okay, and we just gotta find a door to pry open. Okay, I'm just trying to remember, because it's not that... I just watched a video just to make sure I could find all the spots, and I'm trying to remember what door it was. Indeed you can. Huh. A fifth power cell. They must fit somewhere. Alright. All we need to do. All good things. Okay. Now, is there a fast way out of here or do we just have to keep going through again? Did we just loop back around?
Okay. Now that we got that, it's there. Insult to injury, supply cache. Mm. That might have been a side quest I completely forgot about. We'll be near it. Shall we stop by? Probably not. Let's just get to... Let's get our armor and then we'll head to the Banuke Wildlands and maybe we can get that place started first. <clears throat> if you're looking for a ride, consult the map to locate striders. And other things. We don't need this armor at this point because of the difficulty I'm playing at, but it's just fun to have the stuff, you know? So we might as well get it. Just giving it its time. Okay. Wait. My flag. Oh god, it's right on the screen. I was just like, where's my flag marker? Can't see a thing. Okay. I couldn't see, so I go like, I feel like there should be water down here, but I think I'm gonna die. Hey, a metal flower. And there's our prize. And hey! Now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing. Um, the holographic interface. These devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. All right. Well, luckily. There. Fits. I just need a slot this too. It's some kind of code. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Twelve. Oh wait. You know, I could be wrong. Ultra weave progress. Ultra Eve armor. The age of the old ones. But how do I get to it? Ultra Weave trials. Pretty good. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> so twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. I'm trying to remember, is that supposed to be like... Let me think here. No, that doesn't make sense. I was thinking, is it just sort of like, um, military time? But that doesn't make sense because then... Okay, am I missing something? Numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. 
Maybe, but what's this one? Um. Hold on. Okay. Uh It's going in increments of 300, but what does that matter? I genuinely do not remember how this thing works. Well... Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each dial in the right position. Wait, hold on. genuinely don't know what I did. <laughs> like, I was thinking, like, well, 12 o'clock on a clock, so that's facing up, and so, like, would it be going, like, clockwise every quarter? Because that's the only way that would work, and then the bomb zero zero was just no set normal. Maybe? I... It worked. Whatever. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. I took a guess, and apparently it worked out, so I'll take it. Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. Only two more. Just one more. That's oh, right up front. There okay. There go. The last one. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. Ninety two seventy. Ninety degree angle would be wait. I'm trying to think. So ninety degree angle, three sixty would be center, four seventy would be Okay. Look at that armor inside. Another educated guess, I suppose. <laughs> I was not Damn sure. It. I was thinking it's like, well, I got the first three, maybe. Material. Anyways, that works, though. Pick up the shield leader. Shield leader box. No, wait, inventory. Nope. And now we have it. The Shield Weaver. Nice. And this is actually, um, now that I've noticed it, the armor here looked exactly like Elizabeth's armor when she walked out and, you know, sealed herself outside of Gaia. So, was that her actual set of armor, or is that just, you know, one that was like it? Nevertheless, <clears throat> nevertheless, we have it now, and it kind of works like a sheet, like an extra shield. Shield weaver, if you will. Right, we gotta crawl out before we can 
so it soaks up a little damage before breaking, and then that's when we take actual damage, so it prevents a lot originally. There's no mods for it, but with that extra protection, it's kind of worth it. I might switch back to the Karja armor just because, just because, but we'll see. For right now, though, this is, like, objectively the best set of armor in the game by all accounts, and for good reason. Okay, with that taken care of, whoops. And let's head on up. Because we are going to head into the frozen wilds. So, back to the... Um, the gr uh, what is it? The grave. It took a bit longer than I initially wanted, but it we got it in the end. Just because I got completely baffled and yet somehow <laughs> um, bashed my head through... I was just trying to think, you know, it's like military time or something. It's like, well, 12 is up, and so maybe if I just keep going and keep going, it'll work out. And then, like, I think that was supposed to be, like, turn degrees, but I was just thinking, just like, well, you know, 90 could have been left or right, but I figured usually, you know, if you're thinking clock or something, usually you make a right angle. Nevertheless, it worked. Luckily. I was just kind of thinking. That, anyways, that was cool, though. Just wait for it to load as we get to the next spot. <clears throat> it's alright. I'm just... Another long day at work, and then I go like, I'll just chill out for the night, and I go like, but I really want to play more Horizon. <laughs> I at least want to do one, just getting to the next area so I don't have to worry about it later. Karja Blazon outfit protects against fire damage. Well, good for Karja Blazon outfit. Come on, loading. We're getting there. Yeah, I forgot the loading times were that long. Okay. So... Actually, wait, what am I doing? Let's close that. Into the frozen wilds. There we go. That makes it a lot easier. So yeah, we heard about this a while ago, and this is where the Frozen Wilds happened, because it's the uh, it was part of the expansion, and the expansion added, you know, whole new area, whole new missions and quest lines, and they actually relate to the main story a bit. But we'll get there when we get there. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the Cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand either while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuk and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like mm. someone else we know, huh? I was wondering so about maybe that. The real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns the Eloi, it's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop tracking and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Mm. Touchy. Alright. So, then is, um, a uh, Silence Banuk, or at least from that tribe. I forgot about that. I, I was gonna make a comment. I go like, "What's up with this, the blue things in his face?" All right, yeah. And as part of the expansion, there's new robots, and they're actually I remember them being pretty cool. This one's kind of like a fire dog. See, 
we haven't even took health damage yet. And it regenerates. So there you go. It's like a shield. Well, it is a shield. It's called the Shield Weaver. So yeah, we're pretty protected. At least from physical damage. I don't know about fall damage. <clears throat> so yeah, that's one of a couple of new robots. Let's see, in the notebook it should say... No? Not yet? Okay. Oh, I didn't scan it, so of course it wouldn't tell me. But yeah, there's a couple of new robots, and again, mostly I'm excited for the um, main story stuff again. And as far as I'm trying to remember, because I think there's more hunting trials, which you know, those are fun to do for some cool stuff. There were some fun side quests and character moments, and yeah, mainly the main story as to like it adds to. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. <laughs> There's the story of the Frozen Wilds adds to the main story of the main game. I used the word main too many times there. But Frozen Wilds. The Frozen Wilds. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? Yeah, I'll be fine. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Don't let it freeze, Tia. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. I'll show you. I'm going to be badass and go all the way through. Salma discovered Song's End. They're giving a lot of gravitas music to this. But here we are. The um, Frozen Wilds. Keep on going. And there's our campfire. Excuse me, newcomer coming through. Out of my way. You'd ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. Not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. It's a cool head horn they got there, though. Different kind of scattering to the wind, if you will. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, 
Can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. All right. Yeah, this is definitely more of a warrior tribe type of group. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice uh, for free. Uh, Don't die. Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. All right. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. All of it. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. <laughs> All right. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin, like a shaman? Mm. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time. To keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. <laughs> no idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. They've had Arena many a year to practice. Shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Duly noted. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. They believed it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious. That's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or could it be. could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off. And no one knows why. All right. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. You know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. So much for my best customers. <laughs> Better luck next time. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clan back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur. Just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wares. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. Yeah, <laughs> it comes and goes. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shop. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Conflicting interests. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Right for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. 
A great prophet is coming, they said. I heard prophet. <laughs> That's a mistake. <laughs> Not that they would look stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Maybe a map of this area. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. Oh, come my on. Assistant and you don't have to my beat around the bush. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Dangerous. Women? No, 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 no. I independent. <laughs> Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I can't remember. I, I thought there was stuff we could do thing. with our weapons mm -mm. there. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. I'm a really good mm. tracker. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now that's a, now I'm interested. interested. Okay, she is too. Talk, Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratak could tell me more. Okay, Raya, we got to talk around, but real quick, just so we got it, we got it done. I'm gonna go after that tall neck. Let's get this area fully revealed, and then. You know, I don't want to get too f um, far into the story okay. stuff because we're already at time, but let's try to get the map figured out. Okay. Couldn't remember if we could actually get a ride out here. So, yeah. More of a frozen area, which is just mainly a colder um, version of what um, Aloy, where a colder version of where Aloy grew up. You know, most snow and some good trees. Lindhawks, tall neck, frost figures. So yeah, there's the tall neck. You know, frozen into the ground. Demonic scrapper, or demonic scrapper. So yeah, new variations of old robots and new robots alike. Look, that was weird and jumpy. Trick to this, but I don't remember. I'm trying to remember. I thought there was a trick to this. It wasn't like other tall necks. If you do something special in order to activate it. so we can
bottleneck. See how deep the damage goes. Oh, okay. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get it what's inside its head. Right. Find Tallneck Array. Right. We gotta get. We gotta scatter in order to find the parts. I forgot about that. Makes sense though. Uh. Oh yeah. I think these are also the blue green. The the blue green. Blue gleam. Uh. Merchants. This is where they make a play. Maybe. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to teleport back to town just to save. Tremor. Okay. There's a lot to do here and more stuff to learn. We gotta talk to people. We gotta get stuff figured out. Actually, we can push a little bit, maybe. I want to get this figured out just because we can. Like maybe we'll try and get this tall neck activated by finding the parts. I'm just gonna wrap up, but maybe. I don't remember if this takes long, but let's try going after one part and see where we're at. This shouldn't take long, man. Get over here. Scorchers. This is the thing we saw earlier. Scorcher, so that's one of the new robots. They're pretty cool. Okay, that was a good shot. <clears throat> Blue gleam. I'm trying to remember. I remember there was something about why the blue gleam grows on robots, and I don't remember why. Okay, get that third part. Wait, no. Now he can take it. them flap and burn. Wait, so is our tall neck part? Wait, did we pass it or do we... If I go, oh, it 
one of the Glenhawks fell. I was really confused. I go like, where the hell did it go? It makes sense it would be up here on like a little Glenhawk, um, you know, nest. Where is it? Oh. Okay, get this thing back up and running. Do we have to... Go up a little higher. Whoops. Bad spot. Clum. There we go. Well, it's in better shape than it was. by now. There you go, buddy. We fix the machine. Jump on the tall next back. No good. It's not gonna even notice me attacking it. Oh! Uh, I can't run that fast. No! Be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. Uh, is this the only spot? I don't think so. And yeah, now we just gotta get on it. Okay, I think it's gonna, yeah, walk by there. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off. Same like always. So yeah, another tall neck to climb, and you have to put it together. So you get like a little cool set piece as Aloy looks genuinely happy she was able to fix a machine. Hey bud, just gonna pick at your brain, but at this point you owe me. that tall neck will now give us a map of the entire area. Skill point, reveal map, lots of XP. And there we go. Is that place still fogged over or is that... Okay. We got a blue gleam shop, we got a bandit camp, we got a um, trial thing. We got a couple of things to do. Just clears out the area. Is that spot still Fog of Ward, or...? Okay, I think there was a reason for that. I think I remember what that is now. But, yeah. We got the map revealed to us. So, with that open, we now have... You know, we have this new area open to us. <sighs> and so now we are set to properly... <clears throat> properly... Properly explore it. So we're going to... Just wrap up here for right now, once this loading screen's over. And next time we continue, we will carry on, and we will talk to the war- or er, talk to the Banuk chief. We're going to talk to some more other people, get, um, missions all figured out, get some leads, and start tackling this area. And I am gonna wanna do that hunting challenge, just because. 
and I gotta figure out... I forgot what blue gleam was for, but I think this is how you get the best weapons. Maybe. Like, I'm trying to remember. I could go to my other save file and find out, but... Yeah, we'll get it figured out. But until next time. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Samara, signing off.